We talk about how he's having an MVP season right now. Kenny in the zone to keep the dream alive. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, born and raised. Good shots from Kenny again. From the South, so I'm a Southern boy. He's throwing the green wall on his back. And I love playing video games. Kenny, he's pulling off miracles. I am Kenny, and I play for Optic Texas. On our team, Optic Texas, it's me, Shotzi, Dashi, and Fred. I would call Shotzi a goofball. Shotzi, game! Dashi, I would call him a volcano. Dashi on the turn! Shut up! Oh, Brandon! Fred, I would say Clash Clown. Oh my god! <laughs> I just joined the team this year. Was on a team, LAT, for like, ever. <laughs> Nobody ever thought I would leave, but here I am. When I joined this team, I promised to bring championships. I brought one so far. Absolutely flawless. So my controller of choice is the Scuf PS4 controller. It's always been my choice. Everything default except I keep my rumbles in and I use digital tap. It's fast reacting. I also use vibration. I'm like one of the only pros to use vibration and Scuf gets the right vibration down every time. Also, you can add paddle to your controller. You can map them to anything you want. Those can help a lot because of the fact that you can jump and keep your thumb on your analog stick. For me, the controllers have been perfect. I'm not gonna change it anytime soon. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Another black corner, black corner. My style of play would definitely be aggressive radar. He's in the load, 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 load right now. I'm good at getting information. I call out a lot of information, but I also play an AR role at a faster pace than other players. Kenny, first blood. My role is kind of a flexible role, and do it at obviously the best of the best. Five first bloods in this game. I kind of learned a lot from a lot of veterans and learned how to play the game more materially. And that's one thing I kind of like trying to teach my teammates. We usually play an hour and a half before our match. Okay, stop right, stop right, stop right. We're kind of just trying to get our vocals warm and kind of communicate to each other to make sure everybody's awake. You can right by left. No, 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 uh, right by left. Also the fact that we're not making many mistakes. So for me, that's the biggest thing mentally is to get into that winning mindset. <laughs> if your culture's good and your chemistry's good, you can kind of predict what your teammates are gonna do and that helps with winning. So I feel like this year, it's definitely been a lot of that because I've joined a team with three new players. We've been getting to know each other, hanging out a lot. So it's been really, really fun. Optic, they've been orchestrating something beautiful. A few rituals that I do, I mean, I love music. For me, that kind of just clears my mind and gets me level-headed. Rod Wave, Drake, Little Uzi, I'll turn on some Adele. Love in the Dark, like, that's my go-to. You wanna sing us a tune? I can't sing, I can't sing. You have some, like, a shot in here or something? Give me a shot, yeah. uh -uh. <laughs> That's when I'll start singing. That's when the karaoke Filipino side of me comes out. Kenny, he just plays it patient, but a stressful moment nonetheless. Definitely there's a difference between in-game and out-of-game. I guess for me, when I sit down and I load into the map and we start running with our characters, that's me. Kenny finds one, two, a third for Kenny now in a row. I'm the super fundamental guy, so I like things to be fundamentally right. Nice, get time, get time, get time, get time. Whenever I'm in the play, I notice when things are off, and whenever I'm out to play across the map, I can notice things. Kenny could be a massive moment to flip the map on its head. For me, I would say a good map for our team is when I don't notice any bad things during the map of us kind of slowing down our pace or making the map feel awkward or like missing this gunfight, not doing this, not doing this. So no matter what the score is, as long as we're doing the right things, I consider that a good match. A nearly record-setting performance from Ken. When I'm bumped back into reality is when the end of the map happens and I either see victory or defeat. As the leader of the team, I'm usually the first one to speak regardless um, after the map, win or lose. So like what happened is they double slid and the guy just ate long. I do a lot of yapping when uh, the game ends and it's either good or it's bad yapping. And once I call it lucky mid-level wall, we should be aping that shit. Post-game rituals. If we lost, I just want to eat really, really bad food. <laughs> I only eat healthy when we win. I think to be an elite player, as I like to call it, is you need to be coachable. That's number one. You need to be able to give criticism and also take criticism well. You need to think more about the game. Think about the game in a more general aspect than like playing a shooter game. I think that's when you become elite.